What's up, man? Hey, what you cooking? Uh, today we're going to be doing a steak in the George Foreman Jr. We're going to simply put it in my tray. We're going to sandwich it in with an onion and see what happens. Okay. Well, I'll be the taste tester. All right. I'm we'll charge be... you a fee, though. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, I'm willing to, I'm willing to pay. Stuff. What? What? Pay. I'm willing to pay. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay, YouTube family, today, like I told Mama, we're going to attempt to cook a steak in the George Foreman Jr. And I know if it looks like to y'all, I am on a quest to cook the perfect steak. That's exactly what I'm doing. I think I've already found the perfect steak and I cooked it on the George Foreman, but I like variety. My brother had gave me an idea on how to cook a steak in the oven. We did that last week. And by the way, he told me the one thing I did wrong is the one thing I pointed out in the video where I did not put vinegar on top of the steak. So I'm going to correct that in a future video, see how it turns out. But for this week, we're going to cook a steak in the George Foreman Jr. We're going to simply season the steak. And like I always say, this is going to be a short, down and dirty video. And that never happens, but here we are. All right, family, we're going to put it, if y'all can see that. We're just going to put a little bit of salt, pepper, and paprika on our steak. And this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I don't know why this came to my mind about a month ago. Before my brother even mentioned the oven baked steak. And uh, once he did that, he got me set on a mission to find the perfect steak. So what I want to do is just simply put an onion in the basket. Put the steak on top of the onion. Put another onion on top of the steak. And we're gonna, the thing I like about this basket, it's going to trap the steak in place. So you take that, the basket, pull back. And we wanna put that in as firm as possible because we don't want that steak to move. So that should work. All right, if y'all have been with the channel for a while, y'all seen my George Foreman Jr. grill, rotisserie grill work before. If not, this is gonna be new to y'all, but this thing is about 20 years old. I inherited it from my daughter. When she married her husband, his grandmother had it in the house that they moved into that was her house, and she didn't want it, so she gave it to me. So I inherited this about three years ago, and it's probably about 20 years old. And it came with a couple of different utensils, and this is one of my favorites, the basket. All right, fam, so we're gonna put this in place. The gear part goes here, next to the gear in the basket. Oh, it's been a while since I used this, so bear with me. There you have it. Close the lid. All right, let me bring y'all around to the side. And this is for the newcomers. You can see right there, it has a series of numbers. Let me move that red cup for y'all. Yeah, and this is a red cup event, by the way. All right, y'all can see a series of numbers right here on the panel. It says chicken, turkey, rib roast, and then here it says uh, New York strip steak, salmon, or roasted vegetables. So a strip steak should take about 14 minutes. But I noticed this thing cooks a little bit slower, maybe because it's older. So we're going to start out with about 25 minutes. Set the timer. And that's all you do with this George Foreman grill. You set it and forget it. All right, now y'all can see that I set the timer and that steak has started to rotate. Let me back out of that just a hair. Ooh. Let me back out of that just a hair. There y'all have it. All right, fam. So we're back here on the back deck where this and that channel all started. 
And the reason I came in today is wanting to sprinkle rain. So that's why we're not out here in the hog pen. But you know that's where I wanted to be. I had got all set up out here in the hog pen to do this video and it started to sprinkle. So I'm going, you know what? Why not take this thing back to where it all started? Right back here on the back deck. So I'll probably watch a little football while this thing does its thing. And we're gonna come back and check this in about 10 minutes and see what it looks like. But we're probably gonna let it go for about 20 minutes for a nice medium well a steak like my wife likes it. And like she said, she's gonna be the taste tester. So y'all stick around, we'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. All right, YouTube fam, we are back. And we're about 15 minutes into this steak. And she is looking pretty darn good. I think we only got about another five, 10 minutes. And we're gonna pull that baby off. We wanna make sure she's good and done on the inside because we're cooking this for mama. Yeah, I'm about 15 minutes into that steak and I'm about two hours into that red cup. And I'm about two hours into that red cup and uh, woo wee. But anywho, <laughs> that's, a, that's a story for a different day. But uh, yeah, we're gonna come back in about five minutes and pull this puppy off. And while we're here, I want to tell y'all, in the upcoming weeks, we've got some good videos coming up. We're going to be putting the signs up in the hog pen. We're going to be taking down the uh, Lake Charles beginning uh, block signs and the beginning Lafayette block signs. Putting up the signs that we found at that little quaint this and that store about five miles up the road from my home. Uh, we're going to be doing a few modifications inside the shed. Where I'm going to put a TV up and put a swing arm so that TV will be, I can be able to see it from inside the shed and then swing it out and see it from outside the shed. We also got an awesome video where me and my wife, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law went to Lake Granada, Mississippi. We went fishing and we had a wonderful time. I didn't do a lot of footage there because I didn't want to keep a camera in my family's face while we're on vacation, but I do have some good footage and we're gonna make a video out of that. So y'all be sure to stay tuned because we got some really good stuff coming up. So all right, fam, we're gonna get this thing about another five minutes or so and we're gonna call it done. We're gonna cut into it and let mama see what she thinks about that steak on the George Foreman Jr. We'll be right back, y'all stay tuned. All right, fam. Just as I suspected, it did start sprinkling. So, I was correct. I'm not Willie the weather man, but I do have some skills because I recognize a rain cloud when I see one. But anyway, I am out of liquor in the house. So if y'all remember, I don't know, about two months ago, three months ago, I did a video when I set up the hog pen. I did a video shortly thereafter where I set up my uh, liquor cabinet outside in the hog pen. And it came in handy because I am completely out in the house. It's Sunday. Can't buy liquor on Sunday, so there's always a backup plan. I don't know how YouTube frowns on this because now on YouTube when you make a video, there is a questionnaire basically that asks you is there any profanity or anything that be offensive or anything offensive to kids. And I don't know if there's a section in there about alcohol, but I may have to answer for this. But nevertheless, it's worth answering. And I hope I'm not offending any of my uh, viewers with uh, by drinking alcohol. I always say to each his own. If you don't like alcohol, hey, it's your thing. If you don't like smoking, your thing. If you don't like steak, you're a thing. If you don't like vegetables, you're a thing. I like a little bit of everything. All right, fam, we'll be right back in about five minutes. All right, fam. We, have, this thing is did about 20 minutes and that's what we got. Looks pretty good from this angle, but we'll find out when we cut into it because mama likes her steaks medium well i like mine medium still alive that's hot yeah you might try a better technique of taking it out uh yeah you want me to get you another glove another mitten no i'm good i'm a rough neck 
Y'all look at this. This brother out here with no shoes on. When he, when, he say, when he say he keeping it real, he is not kidding. He is I, keeping it I real. I keep it real. I tell my YouTube family that all the time. Look at there. Boom. I got technique, baby. I got skill. Okay. All right, it does look, look kind of good. It does look good. Yeah, we're going to find... Ooh, ooh tender. Uh, I don't know about that part right there, though. Uh-oh. Work it out. My work it gonna out. Be, my brother going to be just... He's going to be like... Arthur gonna laugh Anderson at me. is coming for you, Mr. He's going to laugh at me if it Arthur ain't... Arthur Anderson is coming for you. He's going to laugh at me if it ain't right. Uh-oh. Oh, look tender. All right, it's done. It's done. Beautiful. Just like you like it. And it's nice and tender, guys. All oh, right. Arthur, let's see what you got. All right, baby. All right, let me grab the camera. Oh, all right, you're going to take care of Ben? <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Very tender. All right. The onion flavor did not infuse. It didn't? It's well, maybe we need to get closer. Easy. Maybe we need to get closer to where the onion is. Because mm. the onion was sitting right here. Maybe the onion flavor is there. Mm -hmm. But it does taste. Did I season it well enough? Season well. All right. Well, but hell, I like let me. The caramelized onions better. Oh, I really? I thought it would be mine. Good, huh? That ain't bad. Mm -hmm. George did the damn thing. Did a good job. I like that it's cooked all the way through. That's the most all important right. thing to Let me hold that. Let me uh, try right where the onion is sitting. I'm probably smacking it off. All right, man. Try that piece right there. Oh, I'd rather, I'd rather this piece. You try that one. Oh, okay. I got more of the onion. Oh yeah. But the mm -hmm. caramelized onion is what makes the yeah. steak for me. So, so the George Foreman, the red George Foreman grill does better than the George Foreman Jr. But the George Foreman Jr. Onion, does onion. better than oven baked. Mm -hmm. All right, YouTube family, there you have it. We're in search of the perfect steak. I think we found it on the George Foreman mm -hmm. with the red top, mm -hmm. but we're still looking. All right, family, if y'all enjoyed this video, Y'all give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumb down and a brief reason why in the comment section. If you love what me and Tanya are doing here, this and that, give, why are you looking like that? Boy. This is our channel. No. Where's if my money? Love, huh? Where's my money? Yeah, where's my money? You two man <laughs> just sent me none. <laughs> but if y'all love what we do here, this and that, give us a thumbs up. If not, a thumb down and a brief reason why in the comment section. And if you love what we do here, this and that, Consider becoming a subscriber. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. Awesome video. It's your boy Rosie. Peace. All right, Phil. You want some steak? Whoa. Not my whole hand. <laughs>